A 700% increase in your water bill is awfully hard to swallow. The sudden spike bothered a Federal Heights woman so much she reached out to Contact 7. And Denver 7's Jacqueline Allen found a much larger issue affecting our most vulnerable. That's right, seniors getting skyrocketing utility bills from mobile home parks. Many of them own their homes, but because of these increases, they have to choose between food and medication and paying their bills. So we went to see what lawmakers can do about it. Time to do the dirty dishes. It's all about the money. And Ginger Derrick is watching every drop of water. This is November. Worried about her skyrocketing bill. This month, seven times higher than the same period last year. From $6 to $42. Yes. That's a big difference. Yes. We told you about seniors in this Federal Heights mobile home park, Holiday Hills, struggling with increasing lot rent this summer. How many of you have seen your rents go up dramatically? So every single person who's been here for more than a year. Now the new fees just keep adding up, forcing 89-year-old Sherry Broderick to make tough choices when she was hit with a $91 water bill in August. What did it mean to me? That was part of my groceries for the rest of the month. It was either pay the rent or buy groceries. After no one returned our calls, we went to the office to try to get answers. <laughs> And it was closed. We did get this statement from the out-of-state owners, Equity Lifestyle Properties, saying they are aware of a particular resident and are working to address it by documenting daily meter readings and planning a courtesy check for leaks. There's no transparency. But State Representative Kyle Mullica says this problem is far bigger than one resident or even one mobile home park. Complaints are pouring in about arbitrary increases, not necessarily tied to how much the utility is charging the parks. Why are my constituents being um, gouged on a public utility? Uh, you know, and no one's been able to really give me that answer. While he and other lawmakers are considering new legislation to protect the most vulnerable, People like Ginger can't wait. She's gone back to work at 77 years old, overnight at UPS, to make ends meet. Did you ever think you would be working an overnight shift at 77 years old? No. I just pray a lot. Things will change. Now, to protect people like Ginger, lawmakers I spoke with have some ideas for the next session, including requiring transparency in utility bills and meter audits to make sure big mobile homeowners aren't overcharging for city utilities. Reporting live for Contact 7, I'm Jacqueline Allen. Unbelievable. Thank you, Jacqueline.